So inshallah dear brothers and sisters, we'll be talking about uh, a video that says the final signs before the world ends. Okay, as you can see right here. This is the video. It says the final signs before the world ends. One thing I want to mention to you. Uh, Bukhari reported from Umar bin al-Khattab radiallahu an. Jibril came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and he asked him when is the hour? And the Prophet sallallahu he said the one who is asking me the question knows better than me. In other words, uh, Rasulullah Sosam, he did not know when would be the hour. So when we talk about the final signs are here, we do not claim anything because then we are going against the Quran and Sunnah. We just make some points. We talk about the signs, the alamat. That way we know exactly what is happening at the moment and what has happened in the past and what may happen in the future but again we do not make any claim we do not say this is when the end of time will take place we are even though living at the end of time because of the prophecy Rasulullah said my coming and the hour is like these two fingers even closer so, dear my sisters, uh, we will be talking about this alama, this signs from this video and um, I will be making some comments when we watch the video together so that inshallah we can understand better and together. Is that all they know? He said, It will save them from the fire, it will save them from the fire. Ibn Abbas says this. There is no more other knowledge except that. And these final people will live, the majority of these people will be like that. The Prophet ﷺ said also, he said, Medina will remain inhabited during the days of the Dajjal. Okay. So, uh, this is inconsistent with the Hadith where Rasulullah said that the Hajj will continue uh, even when Ya'ajuj and Ma'ajuj will come out. So, SubhanAllah, I mean, our Hadith, the Hadith that we have learn and we have um, in Bukhari Muslim they're so consistent uh, this is just a miracle of Allah Azza and during the time of Isa alayhi salam son of Mary Ibn Maryam until he dies and is buried there and yani Isa alayhi salam will be buried in Medina then it will be destroyed Medina will be destroyed uh, can you imagine the last two prophets of Islam which is Isa ibn Maryam and Rasulullah Sallam uh, Isa ibn Maryam was the last prophet before Rasulullah Sallam and Rasulullah Sallam is the last prophet. Medina is being honored for holding the burial of two last prophets of Islam and for the humanity of course. This is such an honor for Medina. Can you imagine if you live in a city let's say in New Delhi or Mumbai or if you live in uh, London or Toronto in Canada or New York and in that city two prophets are being buried. I mean, this is such an honor. Yet, subhanallah, the fitna will touch Medina. Subhanallah. Destroyed. Kharab al Medina. You'll find this hadith in Muslim and also in Ahmad. Sunan Ahmad. It's authentic hadiths. I mentioned this actually. And the destruction of Medina, as our ulama say, it is not because the people will actually break it, it's not physical destruction. The destruction, Kharab al Medina, means the knowledge and the religion in there, there will be no longer re people representing it in there. Subhanallah, take a look at what is happening right now in Saudi Arabia. Well, you can argue, well, whatever is happening you know, with all the music concerts or celebrities, Hollywood, Bollywood, or people dancing, uh, men and women together, drinking khamar. All of this entertainment industry coming to Mecca, Medina, and Saudi Arabia. You might argue that, well, look, Mecca, Medina is still by far uh, remain untouched by all this fitna, by all this inter entertainment industry. But uh, you will be very naive to believe that Mecca, Medina will not be corrupted eventually. And this is what the prophecy is about. Kharabu Yatrib. Yatrib, Medina, will be kharab, will, will become destroyed, will become ruined. Why? Not because people will go and destroy it. Allah will protect these two cities. But because people in their heart, there will be no iman. People will become hypocrite. They will become corrupt. 
they will indulge in what we see today happening in other part of the uh, of the uh, of the country so the arabia they will indulge in music they will indulge in uh, fitna fasad and they will love it they love their sins more and more every single day if you're living in medina dear my sisters if you're listening from there my warning to you is that because you live there your status is different than us because you you are born you live in the city of rasulullah sallam the greatest of all creation your punishment will be more if you commit a sin in medina than people who do not live in medina and mecca my point here people of mecca, mecca and medina they need to be extra cautious because with them is the prophet he's he's right there so take care of your deen if you see anything wrong it is your responsibility to raise your voice and talk about it but how often we see people from medina mecca talk about it zero nobody even talks about it like none the people who are talking about it they are not living in medina but medina mecca these are the people they really need to talk about it and take action making sure that they are not corrupt they either die or would have left umar ibn al-khattab radiyallahu anhu said i heard the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say a rider will go around medina and say there used to be many muslims here it will become history this is in sunan ahmad subhanallah at the end of time towards that era the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tells us about a very strange man who will rule the earth an abyssinian king will rule the earth his name as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam describes him is the suwaiqatain it's a name and a description the suwaiqatain means the man of the peculiar looking shins they're thin and they're short i spoke about him before he will come from abyssinia al habasha ethiopia and he will destroy the kaaba not the medina the kaaba itself the holiest symbol of the muslims today he will destroy the kaaba in order to steal its treasure and clothes covering okay so that is a physical destruction of kaaba somebody going there physically harming kaaba but there is another form of destruction of kaaba which is happening right now at the hand of the muslims people say well you know what why if kaaba is so holy and it is then why allah is not doing anything when we see music and dancing and wine and water i mean everything is happening there okay no maybe not in in kaaba but it is enough to violate the sanctity sanctity of kaaba if you're doing it even it's in its vicinity in its neighboring countries or towns right because of the status of holy kaaba this is a very very important place ibrahim alayhi salam he built the 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 kaaba there rasulullah salam he was born there so people might say well look at this prophets they are the best of the best and yet so the government you know people who are running this country doing a lot of this fahsha and getting away with how is it possible so going back to my point main point there are two ways of destroying kaaba physical and another form of destruction of the kaaba is when you uh when you violate the sanctity of kaaba by bringing this music industry you know filthy people uh, people who are not guided people who are in dalala right the the answer to the question is allah will not destroy those muslims who try to destroy kaaba because kaaba for the muslims is open you can go and destroy it its sanctity you can violate it uh, you can even physically destroy it you can do a lot of things with kaaba you are a muslim the only thing and only time allah will protect kaaba is from the non muslims so the destruction of kaaba is happening right in front of our eyes every single day so don't think well just because this black box what they call non muslims black box right this um square back black box which is kaaba just because it is still there and we do not see anybody tearing it down it doesn't mean it is not being harmed 
it is being harmed by disrespecting this place by bringing all of this modern entertainment bollywood hollywood industry people there you are actually destroying kaaba okay that is another way of looking at it you may disagree you may agree it doesn't matter but the moment we do not respect a place anymore that means this place is being completely gone from our eyes of respect from our looking at this particular place is is completely gone this this place is destroyed what i understand from that is the covering they have on it today the kaaba is the ancient building which was built by ibrahim alayhi salam i will not play the video anymore dear sister but you get my point um if you are silent if you say oh no we have nothing to say about what is happening in saudi arabia then you are also part of the destruction of kaaba and you will and i will be held accountable on the day of judgment so i mean i'm not saying well go out and do something no i'm not saying that what i'm saying is that keep in mind these things and dislike it if you cannot do anything else at least dislike it in your heart whenever you see something happening in saudi arabia this filthy people are going there at least have some dislike in your heart if you even don't have that much of feeling that means something is wrong with you allah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh